This is Miller Blakey. I'm with Energy Efficiency Evaluations, or E3 for short. And I'm here with a homeowner, and we are going to be walking around doing an energy audit today, starting off with an infrared camera, looking for heat loss and uh, possible air or water intrusion. And then we're going to be following that up with a blower door test to see how leaky the house is. Thank you. So the windows, the, these are the replacement windows here? Yeah. I'm going to take a peek over here. Just, so we got a something that's kind of an abnormality here. Is that, am I in the right spot? Yeah. And chances are, I don't know for sure, but there again, this is what they call a knee wall. Mm -hmm. And in order for this to knee wall, to, it has, if it has insulation behind it, which I'm guessing that it does, but if it does, in order for that insulation to work at its best, it needs an air barrier there again on all six sides. And most of the time, people don't know or think about putting that air barrier on that back side. Right. So depending upon what he's going to do, what JNR Construction is going to do, in this area underneath, or you choose to have them do it as a result of this energy audit, one of the solutions to improve this room's comfort is to put an access hole hmm. in these to be able to not only 100% uh, assess what's going on, but make the needed repairs. Because this is this, along with I think the fact that they're on the top of a garage, mm -hmm. those are the two contributing factors. And in theory, in removing the insulate or the ceiling in the garage, you could have access to these areas. I feel the floor. Uh, yeah. yeah. Point it down at the baseboard there, and let's look at the lines there. Wait, hold on. Let me get the lower yellow. You see the black line yeah, yeah. in the baseboard? Yeah. And that's where air is coming up through it. Yeah, follow along. So, but it, which is I think so smart. And then we, you know, we'll do simple gifts. Looking at the and installation of the blower door. Still, still a little young. They still want. Like vegans and stuff, so. You gotta stay outside. No, no, no. <laughs> oh! <laughs> stay right there, girls. Bup, 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 bup. You're good. Do you need me to I'm gonna be just kind of moving around. It's kind of a. Oh, this is wild. So you're actually, the door is gonna be open with this thing. Oh, this mm -hmm. is This has been around for about 25 years or so. Uh huh. Of course, relatively new to Kentucky. Nothing happens here very fast. <laughs> but, uh, we can edit that out, can't we, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> As a native Floridian, at least for a little while longer, I guess I can claim that. Uh, most other places have been doing this longer. Okay. And they found in the wintertime that it wasn't nearly as fun to blow air in yeah. as it was <laughs> to suck the warm air out. <laughs> I can understand that. So. You didn't know you were getting a new front door installed today, did you? I've got a red front door. We just in time for Christmas. There you go. I'm sure if any of my neighbors are driving by, they're going, what's going What in the on? world is going on? What in the world are they doing? Well, we, uh, we like to be able to put a sign in the yard when we, got to, when we get done today, if that's okay. Well, you can, but I promise you the Neighborhood Association will come and take it out. Oh, really? Yes. Even if we put it off the street a little bit? They, they'll take their, uh, uh, our neighborhood association. You're not allowed to have any signage in your yard at all. Okay. But you can put it there until they take it. I don't care. Well, they didn't take my sign there. while I was here. Pardon? What? They didn't take my sign while I was here. They didn't. Huh. Are you sure they didn't take it once? I thought they took it once. M threes. Uh, oh well, that's or M square. They've got one, down got one that's been down there for a year. Well, that's because he looked. I mean, his family. Yeah. Looks right well, here, Crawford so. has a sign out too. We'll put it out. We'll, we'll see. see what happens. Yeah. Thanks. So you can, but that'll give a as a point of discussion with them if they happen to have seen the the red door, or you can, I guess, direct them to the YouTube video. There you go. Too pleased. We're putting the final touches on the blower door. This home is approximately 5,500 square feet.
our, our pressure measured in pascals. That's that little less than a quarter inch. And then here's the CFMs, our cubic feet per minute of air. So under pressure, at a 20 mile an hour wind on all surfaces of the home, we're getting about around 5200, 5250 CFM of air leakage. Bathroom fans, if you translate that to a bathroom fan, I'm guessing the bathroom fan in your master bedroom is around 100 CFM. Yeah. That's the beauty of walking around with the homeowner, right? Because we get to interact really quick and, and kind of assess. Let's pull out okay, I'm willing to do something here. I'm willing to spend the money here. This is an easy fix here. No, nope, right. I'm not willing to do that. Going down in the basement. Another st stream of air movement in the basement. It gets nice and warm down here though because there's a register right there. Now let's try. Is this, is this the I'm unfinished? Finished, yeah. Okay, so all we want to do here. So we know that's a big. We'll go there next. So let's just quickly. Yeah, Jimmy's Jimmy's got us both both be uh, 